I cannot wait for fall. So here are some sneak peeks of some of my favorite fall fragrances I'm looking forward to. Hey fragrance family, I'm David. I'm a fragrance bro. Of course, your best source for everything fragrance related. Now, of course, fall is coming up. I cannot wait because it's been such a hot summer down here. It's finally let up out of the hundreds. Really looking forward to cooler weather and falling leaves and all the stuff that comes in the fall. So, of course, I'm really looking forward to fall fragrances. This year has been a really good year of trying out some maybe newer things that I haven't tried before. I have some older ones that I want to bring back. And so now I have a list of some of my favorite fragrances that I'm just, I just can't wait for. All right, number one is Atomic Pumpkin by Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. Now I've mentioned Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements a number of times. I have a whole playlist you can go and watch up here of a lot of their limited scents. Now this is one of their limited scents. And as of right now, it's not out yet, but it comes out every year around September, October. And this is definitely one to look out for. If you like Bay Rum scents, this is Bay Rum. This is in the family of Bay Rum, which is very aromatic kind of old school, spicy, but Atomic Pumpkin adds pumpkin to it and it completely transforms it into something that is just magical. It has like a pumpkin pie vibe, it's spiced, it has that kind of very Thanksgiving type of feel. It's excellent, gotta check this one out whenever it comes out, so stay tuned for that. Next is another limited fragrance by Feeding Stars on Accoutrements, and this one is Ray Rum, or also known as the Shaving, also known as <laughs> Butter Bay Rum. This one is another exclusive around the Black Friday season, and I think it's only out usually for one day, so whenever it comes out, definitely check this one out. But this one is, again, in the Bay Rum family, but less so than other flankers in that line. And this one really reminds me of Butter Rum Lifesavers. If you're my age, <laughs> then you may remember like the Butter Rum Lifesavers. This is that, but in a fragrance, and it is magnificent. If you like uh, Butter Rum, if you like Butterscotch, if you like those kind of sweet gourmand fragrances, this is excellent. Next is Bois Blanc by Frappan. Now, I love Frappan. I only have a couple of their fragrances, but Bois Blanc is one of my favorites. It's very woody. I'm not exactly sure, but I think it's supposed to be kind of reminiscent of maybe wine barrels or um, spirit barrels. Frappan is also a house that makes cognac. So a lot of their fragrances kind of have a style of uh, spirits or cognac or liquor or you know alcohol, that type of thing. Bois Blanc, I have it on my hand here and I keep getting whiffs of it. It's just amazing. It is a very, very refined woody scent that is um, very kind of warm and it's not scratchy, it's not staticky, it's not cedary, it doesn't smell like hamsters. <laughs> very tasteful, very, very comforting, and very pleasing as well. There's a little bit of sweetness in there. It's got a lot of different woods in there, but it is amazing. Bois Blanc is incredible, so definitely check this one out. Next is Creme de Queer by BDK. BDK is another house that I kind of really grown to love in the last couple of years. I tried a couple of their fragrances a couple of years ago. I don't think I've made a full review of this one, but it has become really one of my favorite scents for the cooler weather. And it's kind of hard to explain what this is, but it's kind of a sweet, leathery type of scent. It doesn't really smell animalic at all. It's like all the animalic parts are stripped out and really all the kind of uh, hallmarks of maybe leather jackets or leather shoes or anything is also kind of stripped out. There's a little bit more of a sweetness, a sweet edge to it, a little bit more of a um, musky quality to it as well. It's so put together, round, full, and warm. And for me, I get so many compliments on this one. I love this scent. BDK is a killer fragrance line, and this is easily one of the best scents that I've tried for the cooler weather, and I'm sure it's one of the best from BDK. Definitely check this one out. Next is Mystic Sugar by Coraterno. Now this is the only fragrance I've tried from the line, but it has a really interesting um, look to the line, and it kind of scares me a little bit, <laughs> but Mystic Sugar is uh, more of a gourmand type of scent, but not super gourmand. Like it, it does lean a little bit into that, but doesn't really fully commit to it. I get almost a an almond cookie type of vibe with some amber, but not super, super sweet. It's just kind of semi-sweet and kind of just hangs out in this kind of middle ground of gourmand and uh, just, just an all-around likable scent. It's a wonderful scent. I think it's really interesting. I think it's one of their more popular scents from the line, but yeah, definitely check this one out. Now, of course, 
My next one is Imaginary Authors, Memoirs of a Trespasser. Now, I mention this one almost every year uh, for good reason. This one is just an amazing set from uh, Imaginary Authors. It is a great vanilla mixed with guayac and um, a slight marshmallow-like quality to it. It's a little boozy. It's amazing. It has a, a slight kind of charred wood uh, note to it. It's just a wonderful all-around beefy type of vanilla scent that I find leans a little bit more masculine. I know some people really disagree with me there, but I, th I find it leans a little bit more masculine, which is what I really like about this in particular. Probably for me, it's the goat vanilla. So it's moat is the goat. <laughs> Definitely check this one out. Next is a fragrance I haven't really talked a lot about, but I have mentioned before, and this one is Burnt Remedy by Broken Anatomy Perfumes. Now, a while ago, I did a video about Broken Anatomy, really liked the line. The owner is a firefighter, and he made this line of fragrances that I think is really cool. Burnt Remedy is one that kind of reminds him of, of a specific memory that he had about firefighting, which I think is really cool. This one is very smoky and woody and has a little bit of sweetness to it. It's ambery. There's a little bit of spiciness. And I kind of smell like this nutmeg, cinnamon, baking spices type of thing in there as well. Kind of buried in the mix. It has like this kind of dark patchouli quality to it. It's a really dense scent that has a lot going on, but I really like it. If you like those kind of charred, smoky scents, this is your go-to. Check this one out. Next is Doppelganger Plum by Phoenix Arizona Accoutrements again. And I mentioned this one because this one just came out pretty recently. I think this is going to be a mainstay in the Doppelganger line. Phoenix Arizona Accoutrements has a line of fragrances that are kind of clones. And this one has resurrected a fragrance from Tom Ford, namely Plum Japonais. And if you like Plum Japonais, this is just a great, brilliant homage to that. It has plum. It has everything you imagine about uh, plum. It has the kind of plum, sweet plum note, but it also has a kind of sour plum, the umeboshi type of smell. I think there's like a cherry blossom, plum blossom type of thing. It's got some spice and some vanilla. It's got all the things in there, but it is wonderful. I don't know how much this smells like Japan, but if I ever go, I hope Japan smells like this because this is an amazing scent. So definitely check out Doppelganger Plum. Next is Neanderthal Us. Now, I'm a big fan of Neanderthal fragrances. They make these line of fragrances that is very artistic, but also really put together and very, very complex. Us and Them was another kind of experimental line of fragrances that they made. And Us was the darker scent of the bunch. And when I say dark, I mean really, really dark, but really wearable, I think, at the same time. It's not unwearable. Very dark leather with spice and woods. If you like really ultra dark fragrances, this is one I think you should try. What I like about this, though, is that even though it's dark, it's not off-putting. It just happens to be dark, but also it's very pleasant. So that is a great plus for this one. Definitely check out Neanderthal Us. Next is Triumph of Bacchus by Argos. Now, the name alone makes you want to try it. Argos is a great line. They have the best bottles in the world. Their bottles are just absolute works of art. Whenever I empty these, I'm just going to put one on my shelf because they're just that beautiful. Triumph of Bacchus is one of their best fragrances, I think. And it is a tobacco scent with some fruity qualities, some woody qualities. It doesn't really smell like any other tobacco scent out there, but it's amazing. I think this is a masculine scent, but kind of almost veers a little bit more unisex. So I think there's a lot of versatility here also with ladies. This is just a wonderful scent. Another one that I get a lot of compliments from, and it is very strong, lasts a long, long time, and it smells beautiful the entire time. This is just one of the best scents for fall. Definitely check out Triumph Bacchus. Next is Wicked Good by Gallagher Perfumes. Now this one is the kind of quintessential uh, chocolate scent, and there's really not much more I have to say. If you like like chocolate, I think that you will really like this. There's a little bit more going on than just chocolate. It's not just one note, but it has this very rich dark chocolate scent mixed with some other notes in there. It's a wonderful scent, especially for the cooler weather. I think this is just one of my favorites. Definitely check out Wicked Good. It's so good. And last but not least, of course, Royal Oud by Creed. I love Creed. I love Royal Oud. I always mention Royal Oud at least one time a year, and this is for good reason. Royal Oud is one of my favorite scents by Creed. Easily top three for me. 
and this one is great. Though there is oud in here, it's not a very super oudy scent. So if you don't like oud, still check this one out. It has some oud very far in the background, but really what this reminds me of kind of is um, kind of a pipe uh, of sorts. My grandfather smoked a pipe and this kind of has almost that type of feel for me. It has a kind of woody, almost unsmoked pipes tobacco type of smell in here. Though there's no tobacco in there and it's not really supposed to smell like pipe smoke or pipe tobacco. It kind of does remind that, bring back those memories of my grandfather. So I think that's pretty cool. Just to me, it's, it's one of the most masculine scents. And it's a very masculine scent by Creed easily wearable, get so many compliments. Again, this is just a fantastic scent. Royal Oud, one of the best. With that, I'd like to thank my sponsor, Fragrance X. Fragrance X is an online reseller that sells thousands of legitimate products for a discounted cost. If you're considering buying a fragrance, definitely check out Fragrance X. I'll have a link down below to them as well as a coupon. But also check out Rakuten.com. Rakuten.com is a website that offers you a rebate with every purchase that you make through their website. They actually have a deal with Fragrance X that offers you a certain percentage in rebates just by buying through Rakuten. So I'll have a link down below to them as well. Definitely check out Fragrance X and Rakuten together. Great. But that's all I have. What are your scents that you're really looking forward to for fall? Let me know down in the comments. I may make another video with your thoughts about it. So let me know down in the comments. I'll see you next time. I'm Dave with Fragrance Bros. Bye.